In today's video, I physically take apart a premium tightless golf ball and install an Apple AirTag inside to see if a GPS ball is the future of golf. What possibly is going to happen? Let's find out. Introducing the iGolf Ball. Are you sick and tired of constantly losing your golf balls? Is it costing you too much money and time? Stop losing strokes over lost golf balls. Here I have a solution for you. <laughs> That'd make a great TV commercial. That would have made a sick TV it, it commercial. It would do, yeah. So the first thing we've got to do is find Apple. I've just turned up to Lakeside and I've got to locate the Apple store. I'm going to buy four just in case one breaks and we lose one. But it should cost around about £100. Find the Apple store, buy it, get home, make the DIY and then hit the golf course. Right, so we have managed to secure the Apple AirTags. And like I said, we managed to get four instead of one, which ended up actually costing £119. So a little bit more expensive than I originally hoped, but I feel a lot better knowing we have four chances at this than the one. So let's get back to the house, figure out a way to make this ball safely and securely so it does work, and then play hide and seek on the golf course and let Mad Mike try and find the golf ball. Only finding the golf ball will find my iPhone using the air tags. We have made it back in the lab, aka my parents' backyard, where all the DIY content goes down. And it's this time we make the eye golf ball, and you guys get to see every step of the way. You probably realize that I made this video on short form one year ago. It was a 59 second video that reached multiple millions of you with thousands of comments asking all sorts of questions. Today, we answer them. Let's get right into it. Let's create this GPS tracked golf ball. Apple, by the way, if you watch this and you create this, shout out your boy. Let's do it. First, we have to create the hole inside the golf ball the exact same size as the Apple AirTag. This way, the Apple AirTag can fit perfectly inside the core of the golf ball, ready for us to put the other half on top of the golf ball, creating the iGolf Ball. So the next step is to apply hot glue to the bottom of the golf ball. This way, the Apple AirTag can sit in there perfectly without moving. So the GPS is on top and it should stick perfectly in there. Now give it a little bit, let it cool down, let it stick, and then we can apply the other half and pin it together. We are moving towards the final stages, and this stage is to apply compound glue to the edges of the golf ball. We believe this is one of the strongest glues on the market. We have used Gorilla Glue, we have used all sorts of glue. We believe this is the strongest, and then that way you can stick the other half on top bit like a puzzle and connect it perfectly look at that look got this ball from Dubai and that logo is pretty much spot on so now it's to put in the clamp and let this push together let the glue settle in now that the ball has dried for a few hours the last stage is to apply the pins into the golf ball this is classed as plastic welding it's a small pin that goes on the edge of the golf ball just to keep it secure so as you can see as you apply pressure and you pull down on the trigger you pull it out and now the ball is secured by these pins i know it looks like a spike ball it will be smooth i promise clip the edges like that it's like clipping your nails <laughs> Obviously, if Apple ever made this, it would be a lot better, but, <laughs> you know, we work with what we got. And now with the Dremel, you just tidy up the edges. It'll be nice and smooth, ready to play. And just like that, we are back at the golf course. As you can see, this little golf emoji is the golf ball. We are down on the fifth hole at my home golf club. And right there is the tee boxes that we're gonna be playing from. Actually, we're gonna play from there because it's winter tees. And they're the houses next door. Press play. That's the sound. So we've got a little checklist for today's video. First things first, can I make par using this golf ball and only finding it with this golf ball? Hopefully we hit the green. Second part is hide and seek with Mad Mike. In the rules of golf, you have three minutes before a ball is declared lost. So we're gonna give Mad Mike three minutes to find the golf ball with find my iPhone. He can press find and search for the ball like this. So let's find out, will it survive? And if so, can we find it? So as you move away, look, 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 look zoom in. <laughs> mental, absolutely mental. I'm gonna leave that with you, Mad Mike. So I think the plan here is I'm gonna hit the ball 
and look away. So as soon as I hit the ball, I'm gonna look away. That way I can't cheat and see where the ball has gone. I've got a smooth swing, so I don't destroy the ball. Smooth swing. It's not on the green. No. I got a horrible feeling it might have split in two. So this is going to be interesting because it was alive two minutes ago. So we click directions. Should come up on my watch as well. <laughs> okay, let's go try and find it. Follow me. This is going to be interesting because I honestly have no idea where it went because I looked away and my cameraman was also filming. So we're really going to be using this. We're going in the right direction. Obviously, clearly I hit it forwards, not backwards. Oh my God, I think it's, I think half, it, half of it's alive. <laughs> what? No. What? What? How is it tracking but it can't play sounds? That's mental. So, we will be back once we have another AirTag golf ball. Thankfully, thankfully we have four. So we'll be back. Hello darkness, my old friend. life of a youtuber life of a pending youtuber because clearly i'm not one because i've left the other golf balls at home i thought i brought them with me so we're gonna have to go home get the other golf balls and come back because i've only bought this one so we might have to mark out where i've hit this t-shirt so i'll have to break another golf ball and then leave myself with this approach shot tomorrow god this video has taken a top turn <laughs> two weeks later you hear that we are back two weeks later. I know I said the next day, but a lot has happened in these two weeks. So if you don't know, basically when we broke this golf ball, the entire universe broke. Well, my world broke and UK broke. So I ended up chopping, nearly chopping my finger off the next day. As you can see on the screen, I ended up trying to film a DIY video for you guys. Stanley knife, straight through the finger. 48 hours later, had surgery, put in a splint. A week later from that, I'm now onto the road to recovery, which I can grip and slowly use this hand to film the rest of this video for you guys. On top of that, UK went to absolute river wise. Every golf course was flooded and closed for pretty much an entire week from the last that we saw. We are back on this hole in the exact same spot as what we hit that tee shot when the ball broke. So we have 75 yards into this part three. So the plan of action is to hit the largo side. That way we don't have to expose the pins. Like I said, the glue has been seen for over two weeks. And yeah, just trying to get green here. Let's we'll see if we can give ourselves a hard chance. Okay, it's an edge. Okay, you know what, it's pin high. Right, so the air tag is still saying that it is in the same spot that we just hit that shot and it's saying that the air tag is not reachable so we are out of zone to connect but the air tag is still inside that golf ball because i can see the ball sitting pretty on the fringe so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna press directions and see if it allows us to track it because it did when it broke so here we go as you can see the little find button has popped up onto the iphone and now we can track Search of signal as we move forward. How far would you say we're from the ball? 30 yards? 35? Yeah. Yeah. Well, 30, 30, 40, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40 yards to the ball. So as we're going to walk towards the ball, oh, there we go, connected. So it connects, connected, signal is weak. Obviously, we're in the middle of the forest. This golf course is buried in Epping Forest. But we are, oh, there we go, look. 35 feet from the golf ball so we get signal around about 35 to 40 feet to the ball which is still quite impressive look at this 28 feet 27 feet 20 feet the pitch on the green oh okay like the second 12 feet move to your right it's bang on five feet three feet nearby here made a little noise as well it works guys look at me <laughs> it works okay we were off to a patchy start but it works the concept works <laughs> only if you can find a way to create this in a more productive way 
it works. <laughs> Imagine slicing your drive, you know, roughly 35 feet where you hit the ball. Here. Here. Literally. Here. Oh! <laughs> We are still, I want to be legal with you, we are still in the race, look, 19 feet, 18 feet, look at this. We're still... 4 feet, 3 What is going on people, Louis here. And at this point of the video, my mic, which is connected to my top, has died without me realising. And the only audio that you hear is from my dad's mic, which is placed on his cap. So I'm going to be telling you what has happened. First, I was chatting typical YouTube rubbish about the hole and how far it plays. Yeah. Then I moaned about my dodgy finger for a bit and switched between clubs three different times and went for the 8 iron, which by the way was a top notch choice. Dad wasn't too sure about the club selection, but I played it like a bump and run, landed it short and it stayed on the green. And bonus, the finger didn't fall off, so it's a small win. <laughs> So at this point, I look like a cat who has got all the cream. I am buzzing. Not only does this eye golf ball work, but we have a birdie pot. I say unbelievable about 10 times in a row, and then tell you guys I'm letting the group behind me play through. But seriously, how cool is this ball so far? So this is for birdie, and I'm not sure what line I exactly saw, but it just wasn't it. But at this point, I'm still buzzing that it's working perfectly. And check this out. <laughs> How sick, how responsive is that? Absolutely a joke. <laughs> that is so responsive. Is that enough width for my... That'll do. Four part, like I said, I wanted it for us to do. Let's go play hide and seek. Rules are simple. Yeah. In the USGA rulebook, you have three minutes to find your golf ball before it's declared lost. That is the exact time I'm going to give you to find that ball in your hands using that iPhone. You ready for the challenge? I'm going to bore, bore the audience three minutes of me walking around here. Uh, I'll edit it in a fun way. <laughs> <laughs> is there any bears? <laughs> Lions? Snakes? So Mad Mike is going to be facing that way, looking at that view, whilst I hide this golf ball. So we are heading into the woods. Give me a few seconds and I will find a very good spot for this. Trust me, I've got this. I was sick at hide and seek as a kid. Right, I told you to go for a walk so you couldn't hear me, because even though you couldn't see me, you could hear my footsteps. So I told you to go for a walk and you're now back. You have no idea where that ball is. Not a clue. No, you're probably stuck in the tree. But I'm trying to foot hide. I told you. <laughs> he would think that like that. <laughs> I didn't actually. I knew you'd think I think like that, but I actually didn't. I need your phone because I need to time you. And I'm not counting into three minutes. <laughs> Perfect. We are ready to go. Yeah. Bear in mind, you've just watched me play that hole. Yeah. So you know that you have to be roughly within 35 feet in order to find that golf ball, right? You can't be, and you have to be quite close in order to find it. Are you ready? Three, two, one, search. I'm trying to... You walk? You're wasting seconds here. There's, you're 10 seconds in. Yeah, you have to keep walking. You have to see where you, like, where, like, keep walking. Think where I would think. Off you guys. 35 feet, he's 35 feet. Show me, show me, show me. Wait, 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 show me. There's no way this is this good. Is it actually this good? Show me, show me, wait, 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 wait. You're gonna make me slip. Wait, 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 wait. Show me, show me, show me, show me. Wow. Right. Wait, wait, wait. Seven foot. You're seven foot. Okay, here's the test. There's no <laughs> way. There is no way. One it. minute <laughs> and seven seconds that was. One minute, seven seconds. That's, that's, that's incredible. That's actually incredible. That's, that's All you need is 35 feet to find a golf ball. Oh. I like how you search for the trees as well. You scanned your eyes, you scanned to there as well. I you, you, you scanned that as well, didn't you? It's only because, was it because the arrow pointed there? Yeah. 
I so, literally was on top. I was literally on top of it. So the arrow pointed down there. Yes. That's incredible. I like it. You hear that? It survived. It survived the entire video. I know. We got off to a really shaky start. Breaking the ball was absolutely heartbreaking. But come on, two par threes played, and Mad Mike finished and found the ball in one minute and seven seconds. How fast is that? Imagine the pace of play in the future with this sort of golf ball. A GPS trapped golf ball. Yeah, it's not gonna be a Titleist Pro V1, it's not gonna be a performance golf ball, but it could be a gimmick. We never know, it might be the future of golf balls. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, hitting that bell notification at the top. We are trying to upload more and more. And if you like this style of video, let me know. There's nothing we can't do in the DIY science and golf scene. Till next one, guys. What's next?